Hey, it's Alex Fergus here, and I have the latest news, products, and deals when it comes to red light therapy. Stay tuned, we've got a lot to unpack today, and be sure to stay around to the end of this video because I do have a pretty sweet promo going on that I'll share with you guys. So yes, as you can see, I'm in a new studio. So for those of you who have been following me for a while, by the way, hi, thanks for coming back. You may recall in a recent video, I was talking about fitting out a new studio, so um, here it is. It's the first edition. I welcome any feedback and comments. I'm still playing around and getting my head around the lighting and all that jazz, but for now, I hope it works and you enjoy it. I do also have a lot of news and updates for myself and my channel. You may have already seen some of these changes. I'll be talking about them later. To start with, let's look at the new products that have hit the market. All right, so first up, we have the iLED from Lightpath LED. Now these are red light therapy wraps that have been designed with quite a unique wavelength blend. There are three sizes, the mini, the medium, and the large. And what's interesting is they use quite a unique blend of light. We're seeing 660, 850, but also 940 nanometer near infrared light. Also, most of the LEDs are in the near infrared range, which is, yeah, an interesting move. And I know Scott from Lightpath LED is very passionate uh, and a big believer in the near infrared range. They also have some inbuilt pulsing presets and the listed power irradiance is quite high. I, I don't know uh, how he's come up with that figure. I'd be interested to test it. If you want me to test one of these, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, but the power is quite high. So this could be pretty neat as a direct on skin treatment device. I'll put links to this and every other product below. By the way, if you do decide to purchase any product I mentioned in this video, be sure to use discount code Alex. It will save you a little bit of cash. Next up, we have Huga who have released their red light therapy pod. Now this is quite interesting. It's a full body wraparound sleeve as such. It's similar to products we've seen from higher dose where these are infrared blankets or infrared wraps. But this product isn't designed to make you sweat. It's using your 660 and 850 nanometer lights. Though I wouldn't be surprised if you do get a little bit sweaty. I've been using the Omnilux men's mask for a while. I've got a detailed review coming out on that soon. And I notice even with that, I get a bit sweaty. Finally, we have platinum LED lights. Now there's two things to mention here. They actually came out with a 10% price increase. Uh, that was across the board that was just simply due to the rising production costs and the inflationary pressures i expect we're going to see this with more companies i know some companies have dropped out their free shipping rates and stuff like that remember discount code alex will still save you five percent on the price and secondly i'm told that the entire biomax range will soon have the new uh, blue light led switch in it they're looking like mid-april if not sooner uh, i'll be sure to put a shout out when that has happened okay so now we're looking at new articles root care continue their streak with really high quality uh, guest written articles one of their recent blogs looks at the link between red light therapy serotonin and the pineal gland and the other one looks at red light therapy and kidney function all the links are below. And there was also another interesting article by Mito Red Light. They put out an article looking at the dangers of blue light. I find it quite amusing that they've put out an article on this topic. However, the article looks more at the uh, risks associated with blue light when it comes to circadian rhythm, sleep, and uh, potential eye health from the high energy blue light. Anyway, check it out. Links are all below. This month's science article is titled Photobiomodulation Reduces periocular wrinkle volume by 30 percent so in the study 140 elderly women had 10 sessions with red light and amber light that 660 nanometer and 590 nanometer light and reported on the effect that had on their wrinkles by the way if you do enjoy these red light therapy wrap-ups be sure to hit the like button below it does mean a lot to me and also subscribe so you can get notified when the next one's out so there was a significant reduction in wrinkle volume by 30 percent and skin hydration levels also improved okay so this month's question reads hey alex i noticed that your power irradiation figures are very different to the company that sells the panels what's going on here that's a good question and it is something that i have covered a while ago a year or two or maybe three and it was quite surprising because when i did get my spectrometer a couple thousand bucks for this little device i did notice that yeah the power levels that i test on this device are very very different in fact they're a lot lower what's going on here well there's actually a lot of ways you can measure a radiance or the power intensity of a light source most companies were using solar power meters and they're just not accurate and they're not up to the job some companies since then have sent their panels out to independent labs and they get a full breakdown but what's happened is some companies still continue reporting those solar meter figures which are a lot higher and then other companies want to compete with that and you know people want the more the most powerful panel right so we're still seeing these 
higher and accurate figures plastered around on websites. It's why in my reviews, I always test and uh, share that data. I've also got an Excel spreadsheet, which I'm tidying up by the way, and there'll be a new and improved version out soon. Uh, I'll put a link to that below. Uh, and I just use my, my figures because I know it's the same device. I measure them in the same way so then I can make comparisons. So in all honesty, if you're trying to figure out your dosing uh, or how many joules have been emitted from your panel, I would recommend going off my device reading like what you see in the reviews unless the company has said look they do proper testing in which case then you could use their reading if you've got a question or you want to know about a particular panel just leave a comment below all right so now we get to the fun part of the video uh yes i do have a special promo deal to share with you soon so hang around for that but first i've got to share some news and updates from me as i mentioned we're in a new filming space which is great we've got some new gear which is awesome but we're shifting our focus on this channel i say we because i do have a small team i've got buck i'm the video editor hi and also bart who does a lot of the research and management side of things so these guys are awesome but we've decided that we want to focus this channel pretty much exclusively on red light therapy all things red light therapy in the infrared wraps panels we're going to start reviewing more things such as uh, handheld devices the masks the wraps helmets for brain health all that cool stuff because there's a lot of stuff out there it's not just the panels that are really just been looking at the last few years so if you think this is a good move smash that like button below so if you think it's a bad move then please tell me below in the comments not only are we going to look at different products we're going to go deep into some of the science we're going to look at region specific products we're going to look at things like dosing we're going to look at pulsing we're going to look at brain health skin beauty everything there's also going to be monthly deep dive blog articles over at alexfergus.com they will go heavy on the science uh some of them maybe thousands of words long if you're into that stuff, head over to alexfigures.com and subscribe to the email list over there. Of course, I will mention them in these videos as well. Speaking of the recent blog articles, if you have missed them, there was a deep dive on blue light and how it's beneficial for skin health and also one on pulsing as well. So they're great reads. Again, links to everything are below. As for content that has hit my channel recently, we have the Omni Lux Men's Mask uh, review. We had my experiment without red light therapy for four weeks, and I've got a follow up to that coming soon as well. And we had a bunch of videos looking at nine different tabletop panels, including the overall winner. So they were really good videos. Check all of them out. As for what's upcoming, well, this keeps. We're aiming to do three videos a week going forward for the rest of this year. It's a lot of work, and I don't want the quality to drop purely in the name of quantity, but uh, we're going to give it a crack. We're also trying to be a little bit more efficient with our delivery. So you're going to see shorter videos. Uh, a little bit more polish and uh, hopefully better delivery from my half. Finally, I spoke about a deal. Now, what I want to do each month in this Red Light Therapy News and Update video, I want to do a shout out for one particular product, one company, and just do a one-off like amazing deal. Now, it's just something I'm thinking about. If it's something you do want to see, again, like, comment below. But I'm hoping to lock it in for next month. Now, as a bit of a teaser or as a taster, I do have a, a special for you guys, and that's with Rojo Therapy Lights. It's the Australian-based company. They're doing a 10% off deal off their entire range. All you need to use is discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, and we'll save you 10% off any of the products for next month. If you want to know more about Rojo Therapy and their products, I'll put a link to the Rojo Therapy 300 review I did recently. You can watch that by clicking here. Otherwise, I'll see you next month with my next Red Light Therapy News video.